deep inside his own mind. He's probably an orc or something. Orc, please level 37 wife and baby with the dexterity of a Valkyrie if you catch my meaning. I really don't. Plans for world domination going well? We're partway through phase two. Now oh, well done you. Standard issue of his phone. Standard issue my vestigial tail. I've souped that puppy up into a quantum phone. Oh, impressive. And what exactly does a quantum phone do? Ugh, not what? It's just a phone. Oh, a taster of nerd humour, I see. There's got to be something wrong with any meat product you can drink. I can't combine those things. Yo, Barry, here's a gallon for you. Knock yourself out. Oh, thank you, sir. You're a true saint. If only you knew. So, will it be an exchange, chum? The sticky labels or the wall planner? Hey, No, none of that. I want the shirt off your back, like you said. The shirt? All right. Well, I didn't think you'd... Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, oh, see, this is the lucky shirt my dead auntie brought me. No, it really tugs on me heartstrings. But a deal's a deal. Shirt. He's got you there, Barry. Well, you drive a hard bargain, friend. Ah, uh, here you go. Hmm, huh. something doesn't quite feel right. Ah. Oh, little neat, it will do. He must have had a case of the sweats. Ugh. Guys, like a blimmin' robot. Stand back, big fella. You'll crease the shirt. Good boy. Might be a biscuit in it. Come on, boys, be simple. I'll strip to be sure. How about a Hail Mary to see some more? And they say church is boring. Hey, Jesus, I'm working me ones off. Here, you might stay awake, like. Hey guys, what you watching? Mm. You're never out of luck with a snoofy in your pocket. Ah, oh, crap, this one's out of order. Can't a guy get a drink around here? Nice one! We'll play that next. Is this the bug? Well, she's uh, kind of sexy. If I don't look anywhere above the neck, or below it. Right then, what have they done to the confessional to rip the last foundations of decency out of this place? This some kind of peep show? Ah, come on, ladies. Open up and give us a look-see. Sit down, my son. All right, Daddy-o, I'll play your little game. Now, how long has it been since your last confession? Forty-one, no way. Forty-two, forty... Ah, what year is it again? I see. What sins have you committed lately? Sometimes when I'm having intercourse, I pretend I'm a rainbow. And what do you think might be an appropriate penance for such an atrocity?
I think I should have to cross the Rubicon in me pants. That'd probably do the trick quite nicely. There now, are you unburdened? Go in peace, my child. Well, that was one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had in a strip club. What the hell? Where did that guy come from? What's up with that confessional? I just turn up, bless the crowd with my act and go. I don't know what happens in all the other rooms. What other rooms? Eh, um, my father's house has many rooms. That shirt makes you look like a tool. Now you rock, mate! I wish I could shake this dirty habit. <laughs> hey, don't I know you? Course you do, mace. Yeah, your shorty Polchester sent a left half back wing defence from Clappers United. Look, mate, lovely. You want a souvenir or something? Nah, that's all right. What nothing? How about my fag end when I'm done with it? Hand it down to your kids? No, thanks. I won't say no to an old one, though. Piss off, you bloody binooker. Hmm. And he seems like such a nice fella on TV interviews. So, I saw you coming out of the confessional just there. Oh, really? Did you now, mate? Yeah, you came out right after me. Interesting, mate, because I didn't see you in there. In there, I mean. I didn't see you in the confessional either. Hmm, well, you must have seen me because I was definitely in there. You get me? Yeah, well, I too was in there. In there or in there? Is there a difference or is there a difference? Exactly, mate. Right on the bleeding what's it? <laughs> bleeding what's it, eh, mate? There have been times in here, I can tell you. Ah, you know what I'm talking about, eh? Not a flaming clue. About that confessional. Yeah, mate? You spend much time in there? Mate, I go in there just about every time I have an impure thought. What about you? What about me? You ever have any, um, impure thoughts then, eh, mate? Does wanting to crack open someone's skull on the pavement and pour lemon juice on it count as an impure thought? <laughs> you know it, mate. Whatever gets you going, eh? Yeah, mate. I think there's something going on in there. Do you, mate? Do you think there is, mate? Yeah, I'm sure of it. You think too much, mate. And you know what I do when I think too much? Spend a wad of cash on something expensive and meaningless? Nah, mate. I like to lie down until the thought goes away. You get me? <laughs> Yeah, I could go for a good lie down right about now. Mate, you know it, mate. Oh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Yeah, whatever, mate. Well, those things together, not bloody likely. Now you're just being stupid. Nah. Can't be asked. So, is blood the only thing you buy and sell here? I don't know what you're talking about. I run a completely legitimate... Listen up, I might traffic the occasional human organ or three. Willing participants can get good money for them. How much dosh are we talking? Well, depends. Liver will get you 20, kidney 50. Pay as much as 500 for some of the weird stuff. 500 quid? Blimey, I'm in the wrong business. What do you do with the organs? I sell them onto the hospital. That's a great service you're doing. 
Ah, oh, they use them in the turkey twizzlers in the patient canteen. Does it have to be me own? Better for me if it is, since I can determine medical history, substance abuse, willingness to participate, etc. But to be totally honest, I ain't that fussy. I may just take you up on this. We can get started immediately if you like. No, no, uh, let me mull it over a bit. Oh, I understand. It's a big decision. I'll be here when you're ready. So, Gloria. Hector, don't get me wrong. I'm really happy to see you, really. I've just got this pile of stiffs to work through before Cory comes on. So if you've got something specific you need me to look at, hand it over. Otherwise, I'd better be getting back to it. Right. Some other time, then. Now, that's one healthy-looking, um, gizzard? Brisket? Whatever. Came out of a person, so that ticks all the boxes for me. Here you go. Got one of these for ya. Hmm. We don't usually encourage taking it out yourself. Dodge, please. Hold it there. Need to check if this is human. Top lot Barry duped me earlier by passing off a gallon of ox blood as chap A negative. Really? Tainted the works. Gonna have to make up quota with me own again. Oh, that thieving bastard. Let's just say he's given all the blood he's ever going to. We won't ever see his sunken face again. Right. Yep, it's human. Here you go. 200 quid as promised. Hang on, you said 500. Oi, I know what I said. Are you trying to hustle me? Oh, no, wait, you're right. I did say that. Here you are. 500 it is. 500 quid. Give me an hour at the bookmakers and watch me turn it into zero. How much money would it take to get to the top of the waiting list? Well, it would be impolite of me to refuse you, sir. But it is my job and I'm quite skilled at it. I'm afraid we're all booked up for the evening and many evenings hence. In the meantime, if it is a table you wish, I believe Furniture Shack have a sale on. But may I say that was a very nice try, yes? Good day. All right, Snotrag, here's your blood money. 500 quid for a one month subscription to Beef On Demand. Oh, good choice, sir. Less work for me. Here's your Beef On Demand membership card. Numbers on the back. Let me tell you this, though. Once I have finished with this case, I have got some leave coming. And I just might fancy eating my own body weight in questionable meat products. Then, my friend, you shall see the true meaning of all you can eat. Mm. Yes, gulp indeed. There's a phone number on here in case I feel like an all-you-can-eat-light snack. He might get mad if he learns I've been cheating on him. Always a pleasure. Don't be a stranger. What are you, an idiot? Oh! Well, those things together, not bloody lightly. Merkins, weird. Must be some kind of wig for weird shaped heads. <laughs> what? What did I say? Bong, spotted. Who's that down at the gentleman's club? Neck deep in Mimsy. Goss? Spill? Your hubby, Eugene Shortly Polchester, and I do mean neck deep. Couldn't even see his chin. Oh, not my shorty. 
He wouldn't set foot in a place like that. In fact, you know where he is right now? Church. He's devoutly religious. Said he was on his way to pray. Pray is more like it on all the exotic ladies and their sins of the saggy flesh. That is so not even funny. Serious? I just saw him front ending the handball between the uprights by a wide receiver. I think I'm mixing my sports metaphors, but uh, you can work it out, I'm sure. Oh, please! Charlie would never do that to me. Maybe not to you, but think of that poor lass who can't sit down for a month. Rumours, rumours, I heard it all before, and it's all lies and ears, eh? You mean you've gotten past the latest of his illicit public antics? Oh, everyone knows a story printed in the papers is nothing more than made-up tittle-tattle. No, Alicia, I'm all for good faith in a relationship, but... It made the front headline of every newspaper and magazine in the country, including the awesome hand. Blah, 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 and not a single photograph to prove the rumours. You believe what you want, but I'm taking the sworn word of my husband. Your husband? I've had wood last longer than some of Shortley's marriages, and that is saying something. Your husband's recent behaviour is at the very least worth cancelling dinner over. Oh my god, yes. At a girl. If it were true, of course. I tell you though, if I did see any signs of him creeping around behind my back with some slag, heck, had no fury, he would feel my wrath. Shay la bouffe, totally cancelled. Well, that would teach him. The wedding vow renewal party would still go ahead though, to be fair. I'd lose my deposit at the caterers, which was a petite fortune, I don't mind telling you. Ciao, darling. Does it have to be Shayla Buffet? Do you know of any other upscale restaurants on your little map? Uh, no. All righty then. Shayla Buffet it is. Just lingering, thanks.